from our 8 News Now investigators tonight, a new year and a new appeal to the Nevada Supreme Court. Accused sexual predator Nathan Chasing Horse in a Las Vegas courtroom earlier this morning with supporters of the alleged victims trying to send a message. 8 News Now investigator Vanessa Murphy has more from the Regional Justice Center in downtown Las Vegas about why. Nathan Chasing Horse continues to fight his criminal case here in Las Vegas. That's while supporters of the women he's accused of victimizing say they'll continue to stand in solidarity against him. State of Nevada versus Nathan Chasing Horse. I'm going to put my faith in the justice system. Fawn Douglas says as a survivor of sexual violence, she especially knows how important support is. She's here at Clark County District Court Monday as Dances with Wolves actor Nathan Chasing Horse makes an appearance. He's charged with 18 counts in connection with the alleged sexual abuse of two women. For the first time, both alleged victims are here in court to face him. I just take it day by day. In a previous exclusive interview with the 8 News Now investigators, Ren Leone said Chasing Horse began sexually assaulting her when she was just 14 years old. And what happened there was rape, and there's no other label to put on it. In court, Leone's supporters like Douglas were yellow. How else do you fight the darkness but the light and the sun? And it's a very powerful spiritual color. So we make sure to be there and to be there to support Wren, to support her family and to support other survivors. And to also, you know, break that uh, perception that Native people in Las Vegas support Nathan Chasing Horse. Since his arrest nearly one year ago, the self-proclaimed medicine man and spiritual leader filed an appeal to the Nevada Supreme Court asking for the charges against him to be dropped. That effort failed, but this document filed on January 2nd shows he's trying again. This court date now rescheduled. Um, checks up for January Since Leon came forward, some investigations were reopened years after others had spoken up but felt ignored. And additional women have come forward. Natalie Weeks O'Neill says she's a member of the same tribe Chasing Horse was once banished from after he faced similar allegations. I feel like maybe... Um of other tribes but also that were directly impacted if you'd be willing to come forward and, and make a stance i think this would make the um you know the the cases for others to feel more supportive because i think the fear the fear is always going to be there chasing horse faces federal charges as well as warrants in montana and canada those cases appear to be on hold while he fights this case in las vegas vanessa murphy eight news now Chasing Horse expected back in court January 24th. The 8 News Now investigators previously put together a documentary called Breaking the Circle, Nathan Chasing Horse Exposed, and you can find that at 8newsnow.com.